Hello, beautiful master manifestors. It is Olivia Grace, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is a subscriber question, which is great. It is about manifesting men to spoil you, to love giving you gifts, love spending money on you. Um, and I feel like this is a really good video for me to make because I have been on both sides of the coin when it comes to this. Um, but I'm trying to hurry up and make this video too because I have a session. Um, so if you would like to work with me, there are all kinds of links in the description to do so. Um, I am offering free distance healings and um, sat scenes. <clears throat> so those links are in the description and I am hosting an entry and <laughs> in-person live manifestation retreat that is going to be in february next year um so you guys can email me if you're interested but let's get into the topic so this person was saying that they are tired of manifesting broke boys and um you know people that complain about spending money and i'm gonna go into this and i feel like some of this may get me canceled or whatever but i don't give a fuck because i'm gonna say what i feel and what i feel like needs to be said so um, there's a couple of different things that go into this, um, but what I'm going to start off right off the bat, you can probably guess it, is the self-concept. Um, the way that you feel about yourself in a nutshell is the way that people are going to show up and treat you, right? Um, you, that that's basically like, that's it in a nutshell. You have to see yourself as deserving of being treated that way. You have to see yourself as worthy of treating yourself um, of getting that type of treatment and and you have to feel I don't want to say entitled but a little bit to it like so many women I feel like we feel like I don't know we're afraid to want the best for ourselves we can want the best for everybody else but for ourselves it's like oh I'll just take this or oh I'll just take that or oh you know um like, for instance, I was watching this uh, TikTok. If you guys seen the broke boy TikToks, um, it's like the broke boyfriend. He's like acting, but it's hilarious. And um, he had taken his girlfriend to Dollar Tree and um, got her like two. He was like, you can get one thing, babe. Or I guess you can get two. And, you know, people in the comment, women in the comments were like, well, that's more than I ever got. And I'll take a date to Dollar Tree and that. And by that, you guys, you're just setting your standards so low. You know, um, what what I feel like has been lost among um the man and woman community is that men literally do pretty much everything that they do for women it's for the attention of women it's for you know the sake of women and but women have gotten to this point to where the bar is set so low that men don't have to do anything anymore to get a woman to have sex with a woman to date a woman it's like are you existing do you look halfway decent then okay are you showing interest in me and this this is another thing that i feel like a lot of women that have maybe not um you know your self-esteem that's really where it's at you know your self-esteem your self-concept because what what you view about yourself is what you accept for yourself you know, the me that I am today would never date the guys that I dated in the past, the way that they were treating me or not treating me, you know, um, but it had everything to do with myself and what I was accepting. Um, I will tell you guys really quick about kind of my journey with uh, broke boys. Like my first serious boyfriend was like a broke boy to the T. Um, literally, like I would put gas in his car for him to come see me. I like every pretty much every day. I think he paid for maybe two dates. In like the whole two years that we were uh, dating um, and I paid for all the other dates I would cook for him I would just do all of these things and a lot of times when you don't feel like when you don't feel like you have worth within yourself like when you're not knowing your inherent worth you you try to get worth you try to say let me do all these things let me prove to this person that I'm worthy let me prove to this person that I'm you know um, deserving of, of love and deserving of their treatment and that they should really want to be with me by doing all these things for them right um, cause I feel like that's kind of the mindset that I was in. Like I want to do, 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 do. Um, and I'm trying to prove, I'm trying to prove this worthiness with gifts, with things that I don't feel I have inside. Right. And so, um, I remember the day that it changed for me and he and I were hanging out and I asked him to buy me some food. I asked him specifically to buy me like some rice or something like that, like some fried rice. 
and I knew he had money because he was broke. He he like didn't have any money when we were dating and that was his excuse as to why, you know, he didn't do things for me or pay for things for me and all that kind of stuff, which I want to just side note. My mom tried to tell me this when I was with him, but even if a guy is, is doesn't have money, he will do things to still like please you. He will still find a way to, um, you know, to give you things, to do things for you, even things that don't cost money. Or really to me, in my opinion, as a man, if he's really interested in you and he really sees you as a woman of value, he should want to get money to to do things for you. And that's just my opinion. Um, but I had asked him to buy me some rice and he was like, no. He was like, and he had just gotten, like I say all that to say, he had just gotten like a tax refund. So he had more money than he usually would have. And um, he told me no. And he said, you know what? You just want too much. And in that moment, I thought to myself, if me asking someone for, for rice is me wanting too much, then maybe I'm just asking the wrong person, you know? And that was when it clicked for me that it's not it like, it's not about him. It's about me and what I'm accepting and what is okay, what I feel like is okay for me to accept from a man. And it was still a journey, you know, going through that. Um, but the self-concept is, is imperative, you guys. But the next part that I want to talk about is your standards. You, okay. So like that, in that moment, that was when my standards right, like raised, like I was like, no, I'm no longer going to be with somebody who can't spend a dime on me. That doesn't even make sense to me, you know? And my standard is for a man to take care of me. And like, there's many different levels. Many people are, you know, at different places of, um, like, you know, some people are okay with the half and half. To me, I don't like that, you know, but that's, that's where some people are at. Some people want, you know, to do more of like a, like a 80, 20, or some people want the man to do everything, like everything it's up to you, but whatever your standard is, realize that when you put that standard, that's what they're going to do. Right. So if you're the type of person who's like, oh no, you know, I'll pay this time or, you know, oh, I'll pay all the time. Or like I, like I was doing, you know, oh, I'll, I'll get your gas for you. Or I'll, what is like, what do, why, why should they do anything more? If you're telling them they're getting everything they want from you, they're getting the pum pum, right? <laughs> they're getting your time. They're getting your attention. They're getting your energy and they're giving you nothing. And so what you're basically saying is that that's all that I cost. <laughs> and not to put, you know, there's no price that you put on that, but you're, st you're setting that standard that this is what, you know, this is what it takes to be with me. And nowadays, unfortunately for most women, it's that there's nothing. Do you have a couch for us to come in Netflix and chill on? It's okay if it's at your mom's house. All right, that's fine. You know, like that that standard and so I feel like as women we need to go back to holding a standard for ourselves which is going to cause the men to come and rise up to meet that standard right um but as long as we're accepting any old thing so set the standard then maintain the standard right because some of us set the standard and then you know the first guy that we come across that's giving us attention and is nice or he looks good or he whatever you know but he doesn't meet anything on our list or doesn't meet half the things on our list we decide to mess with them anyways because we're like, oh, well, he's giving me attention and I just want, you know, I just want somebody. And this is why being comfortable with being with yourself is so important because being comfortable with being with yourself, you're not going to accept just any old body. You're not going to accept some guy saying, oh, come to my house and Netflix and chill with me. You know what I mean? If you know that your standard is somebody who dates you, who courts you, who is a gentleman, um, who's going to come and take you out somewhere, then why are you saying yes to somebody who's asking you to come over and Netflix and chill, right? So you want to set your you set your standard and maintain that standard, right? Don't just say yes to everything. Be okay with saying no. Um, a good um, video that I had watched was to kind of redirect. Like this girl was talking about, you know, oh, a man talking about um, taking you out for coffee, you know, and she's like, I don't want to go out for coffee. I want to go out to a nice restaurant. So instead, she didn't say, oh, no, you're a broke boy. Da, 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 da. She just redirected it. She said, no, you know, that sounds good. But or she, I don't know. She actually didn't acknowledge his coffee offer. <laughs> she just said, there's actually a really nice place that just opened up, you know, downtown and I've been dying to try it. Like maybe we could go there. And he was like, yeah, you know, so sometimes it's just a conversation, you know? Um, now the next part that I will say, well, there's two more parts. Um, 
because I want to just talk a little bit again about feminine energy. I feel like this is the part that I think like could get me canceled, but I don't care. Um, so I, like there's this thing that happens like an overcorrection, right? And I'm going to talk about this maybe in another video. I may make a, a TikTok about it. Um, follow me on TikTok, you guys, because I'm trying to get my followers up on there. But anyways, um, it's like, okay, so women had no rights, right? Women had no rights. And, you know, uh, women had to like basically do whatever men said. And, you know, then women got rights and got freedom and could be however they want. And so it went from women not being able to doing, not being able to do anything to women taking on everything. Because here's the thing, in my opinion, a woman, <clears throat> when a woman has a child, you know, a woman has to take care of that child. She has to take care of the home. She has to, you know, um, take care of, she still has to work. She's so it's like, she still has the job of being the homemaker. Now she just has another job on top of that. And a lot of women are kind of go, giving into that idea of, you know, me doing absolutely everything is empowering. And if that really feels empowering to you, by all means, like do that. You know what I mean? I'm not telling anybody how to live, but what I do believe is that a lot of women, because here's another thing that can get me canceled. <laughs> I feel like in this society now, it's like people don't really question how do things resonate for you? It's just, if everybody else is doing it and everybody else says this is the way to be, then that's the way to be. But in my opinion, in my, in my opinion, if I'm going to be a woman and I'm going to be the homemaker and I'm going to be taking care of the kids and taking care of this, why should I have to also take care of everything else as well? And that's just my opinion, you know, but when you want, like when you want a real, in my opinion, alpha male, you know, you want somebody who's going to take care of those things. You, you have to have that mindset of yourself that it's okay. It's, you're not, you're not, uh, shameful for not breaking yourself, you know, working yourself to death. You know what I mean? You're not shameful for having a man spoil you because it's like now in these times, it's like, that's, that's shameful. You know, you're, you're, you're oppressed or whatever the fuck, like this shit to me doesn't make any sense. You know, I feel like it's oppressed, it's oppression to work 12 hours and come home and have to still do everything yourself. And, you know, just to me, I, you know, if you have a stay at home husband, that is taking care of your home for you, that's amazing. To me, that's not something I would be interested in. I, I have a very traditional view when it comes to men and women, probably because of my parents. My dad was an old school gentleman. My mom was an old school lady. And so that is where my mindset of how a household and how men and women should work. It's not to me saying that anything else is wrong, but I think that what's wrong is shaming anybody for what they are doing instead of just saying whatever works for you works for you and whatever works for this person works for other people. So let go of the shame of being in your, in your feminine energy and expecting for a man to do that for you. Now, um, <clears throat> another thing that I have personal experience with is affirming because this was kind of a journey between me and my, uh, partner. Like there were things like in the beginning, he wasn't so much like he was, but he wasn't like, there was things that I wanted more, you know, more of him and his masculine energy and me and my feminine. And so I would affirm for that. I would just affirm that, um, like that he loves, you know, spoiling me that he, um, that he pays my bills. And, um, even throughout our breakup, he was still paying my bills, some of my bills. So, <laughs> um, and I, yeah, I just, I remember I decided that one day I was like, yeah, I want him to start paying our bills. And I just started just assuming that he was, and i never talked to him about that specifically. He came and talked to me and was like, Hey, I think it's time for me to start taking over everything and taking over all the bills. And I was like, oh, I agree with that. Like, <laughs> so that's definitely a way that you can go about that too. Um, you know, it's just affirming, but it starts really, you guys with, I really feel like the first two are, um, important is having that standard. Do not, don't leave it up to the man to make the standard there. There, I hate, like when I say this, it sounds derogatory, but men are, I don't even want to say that, but just know that men are going to do what you allow them to do They're they're and, and nothing really more. Like, honestly, they're going to do what you allow them to do. And you allow by your standard keep your standard high, maintain your standard high and maintain the idea that you are the most amazing woman, that you deserve the most amazing treatment, that you deserve princess treatment. You deserve to be spoiled. You deserve to be, um, have money spent on you, right? 
And then of course, if you have someone specific that you want to change, then affirming does work for that. But it starts from the inside, you guys. It really starts from knowing that you deserve these things, okay? So I intend that that helps. I intend that that answers your question. Um, like the video, you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the description if you guys are interested in working with me or anything like that. And I will see you guys in a video soon.